Welcome back to the lead. Now it's time for the politics lead. One surefire way to get the 2016 rumor mill churning is to promise you're not running for president. At a news conference today, Massachusetts Democratic Senator Elizabeth Warren did just that, saying, quote, I pledge to serve out my term. I'm not running for president. I'm working as hard as I can to be the best possible senator I can be. Let's bring in our panel, columnist for Bloomberg View, Margaret Carlson, CNN political commentator and Republican strategist Anna Navarro, and CNN chief political analyst Gloria Borger. Uh, Gloria, Senator Barack Obama once said he, I do recall he, he wasn't running for president. <laughs> I seem to recall that he went back on uh, Mr. Russert's show and said he was now thinking about it. He was, yeah. So th these, these statements, even when they're Sherman-esque, they're not Sherman-esque. Uh, yes, except she did use the word pledge. Which is, and you know, she did sign this letter with the other uh, women Democratic senators urging Hillary Clinton to run. That was one step. Today she used the word pledge, and I kind of think that's a hard thing to get out of. Now, should Hillary Clinton decide not to run, and suddenly there's a large opening, and people want a woman, and maybe she would go back. But I think the word pledge is, is a tough word to go back on. Margaret, if you remove Hillary Clinton from the equation, She's second, Elizabeth Warren, in the polls after Vice President Biden. So she's third in the polls. A lot of people out there have never heard of her. What's right. the appeal? Why do people like her? Uh, because she fights the banks. She said, listen, that financial meltdown, there was a culprit and they didn't pay. You paid. You, the little guy paid. Uh, and, you know, she had a hundred, there were a hundred pictures of her on the New Republic cover. Do you remember that? Mm -hmm. And I think we knew that she was becoming famous, but you know, not the ordinary person. But there is that element where she's the only one who's really made it her business to come and take on the banks. And, and I have to say, again, we're, not, we're talking about 2016, and we're not talking about Joe Biden. And this is a thing that I've just been noticing in, 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 with, with pundits, with Democrats, right. for years. I'm happy to talk about Joe but Biden. But no, I'm not listen, at least, at least this we week. We picked a topic, right? Yeah, at, at least this week we saw him. We haven't seen him be active on Syria. We haven't seen him be active on Iran. Yeah, he's out there doing him. stuff. He's in China right now. And every time we see him, he sticks his foot in his mouth. So well, there's no, a reason, why, there's there's a reason why they don't want him to. I, I honestly believe Biden would be a very serious contender if Hillary Clinton decides not to run. And I think we'd be talking about him a lot more in, in that instance. I think it's hard for a vice president. Yeah. And everything here's, is here's, every, a, here's every, some polling. Clinton, 63. Biden, yeah. 12. Warren seven, Cuomo five, O'Malley two. That is a huge drop off to the incumbent vice president, sixty three to twelve. And let's let's talk about um, the sound of Joe Biden, what he said uh, in Japan. Uh, headlines are mostly about this comment he made to some Japanese women, even though there's as much more.